Hey, what's going on everybody? Jason here. Welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm going to be counting down my top 5 worst elixirs in Black Ops 4 Zombies. Once again, this list is based off of my opinion and my personal experience with these elixirs. So, with that said, let's jump into it. Before we actually get into the top 5, I have one honorable, well, dishonorable mention. It's head scan. When activated, it says headshots have a chance to instant kill. Seems okay, but nothing really changes when you play the game, to be honest. Headshots are already more lethal than normal body shots, and you'll kill a zombie with a headshot just as easily without head scan, so you really don't need head scan. It just doesn't seem to work for me that often, so that's why it's an honorable mention, but it just barely misses the top 5. Starting things off at number 5, I actually have an epic elixir, Suit Up. Now, I don't necessarily think the concept for this elixir is a bad one. It's just, in practice, it's not that good. What this does is gives the player full armor, which is four extra hits before you go down. Sounds great, but it doesn't regenerate, and you have to use another one to get it all back. And these things aren't common either. You'll rarely get these from the factory when you use your Nebulium Plasmas. The only thing this elixir is really good for is realistic difficulty, which is fine, but who really plays realistic difficulty on a daily basis? Not a whole lot of people. Besides, your specialist weapon gives you some armor when you use it anyways. Even though it's only half of it, you still get to use a badass special weapon with a little bit of armor. So, do you really need to use this elixir? This elixir kind of reminds me of the World War II armor system and how flawed that was, but it's just in an elixir form and it fits the Black Ops 4 system. In my opinion, I don't think it's that great, and it comes in at number 5. In at number 4, I have Wall-to-Wall -wall Clearance. When activated, this legendary elixir makes all wall buys 10 points, essentially giving you a fire sale for all the wall weapons. It seems fine at first, but when you take a step back, you notice that most of the wall guns in Black Ops 4 Zombies aren't that great. Sure, the strife is pretty good, but that's about it. All the other wall buys are standard, run-of-the-mill ARs and SMGs, and the Titan isn't that good either, so it's not even worth getting it for 10 points. Also, wall-to-wall -wall clearance doesn't seem to last as long as Immolation, you know, the actual good fire sale elixir. At least in my observation, it doesn't seem to last as long. All in all, you really don't need to have wall-to-wall -wall clearance, and I think it wastes an elixir spot, and it comes in at number 4. Next up at number 3, I have Now You See Me, a returning classic gobble gun from Black Ops 3 turned into a classic elixir in Black Ops 4. This elixir makes it so that, when activated, zombies chase you instead of your teammates. It only lasts 10 seconds, so it's really not going to do much good. Your teammates could just use an enemy robot here, or an in plain sight, or literally any other elixir that helps out when evading zombies, and it would do the exact same thing, but better. This elixir is just kind of useless, and that's all I have to say about it. It comes in at number 3. Moving on to number 2, I have Control Z. When activated, this elixir turns zombies around you to fight for you. So basically, brain rot. But this wastes one of your elixir spots. You could just pack a bunch your gun to get brain rot, and your gun would be way better considering you also upgrade the damage on your gun. Control Z is one of those elixirs that once again sounds good on paper, but fails in execution because there are way better systems in the game. Control Z is pointless, and it comes in at number 2 on my list. And finally, at the number 1 spot, this has to be Phantom Reload. What this does is that when you go to reload, you have a chance to not use any of your reserve ammo. It seems decent at first, but this elixir barely works. Remember, it says it has a chance to not use up your reserve ammo. But, in all honesty, it does use up your ammo 9 times out of 10. This elixir is actually useless, and it doesn't even work half the time. I could just buy ammo off the wall if I wanted to, or use a different weapon if I wanted to conserve ammo. It just doesn't make any sense. Phantom Reload is just an overall bad elixir, and hands down, the worst elixir in Black Ops 4 Zombies. And that, guys, is it for today's video. What did you think of my list of my top 5 worst elixirs in Black Ops 4 Zombies list? Let me know in the comments. Anyways, that is it for today's video, and I hope you enjoyed. If you did, go ahead and hit like and subscribe if you're new. Don't forget to join the Discord server and follow me on Twitch and Twitter to stay up to date with everything that I do. And with that said, have a fantastic rest of your day or night, depending on where you are in this crazy world. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you guys next time.